stuff. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Wait, let me get my, did you get? Yeah. You're beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Queen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who is? Oh, with that smile. It's a good smile. It's like nice autumn weather. <laughs> Love. You're beautiful. Camera magic. Hey, there it is. There it is. A couple more for There he is. She's perfect. Love. Killing it. Thank you. Here, right here. Hey. And right here? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Perfect. Yeah, 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 perfect. Yeah. 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 I'm sure a lot of you have heard my spiel, but for those of you who don't know, the Creative Coalition is a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization founded by prominent members of the arts and entertainment community who believe that because we have this unique platform, it's our responsibility to uh, use it to uh, educate and um, inspire our audiences and ourselves to mobilize around issues of public importance, especially public funding for the arts and arts entertainment. Um, our Right to Bear Arts campaign believes that it's our mission to protect, defend, and promote the arts in the United States as a, as a basic human need. The Creative Coalition is the premier nonprofit social and public advocacy organization of the arts and entertainment community. What does that mean? It means one thing. We encourage and we support our members who are actors, writers, producers, directors, executives, lawyers, people in the industry to follow your social welfare passion. We make it happen. Today we are celebrating the television actors, writers, directors, and producers who've used their power and their platform to affect positive social change. I feel so incredibly grateful um, to be among this year's honorees for my work for the MacPac Foundation. The MacPac Foundation was founded by one of my best friends, Madison McLaughlin, um, in 2020, because, you know, what a year. Um, and two of her sisters actually have HBSL. Um, and there's only 25 people in the world with this disease. So it is a very, very rare disease. Um, HBSL is a leukodystrophy that affects the brain and spinal cord. Um, and because it is such a rare disease, it makes it very difficult for families to get financial help they need to pay for necessities like wheelchairs, medication, and treatments. This foundation also secures funding for research for HBSL and other sister diseases with the same gene mutation. So once we find a cure, they're not going to stop there. They're going to continue their research. Melissa launched Oscar's Kids to raise awareness and funding for pediatric cancer, giving support to families who should never have to face something so difficult alone. Oscar's Kids and the Creative Coalition, even though we focus on different causes, our mission is really still the same, and that's doing better for our nation's children. As Jessica mentioned, I started Oscar's Kids in the name of my dear friend Oscar, who is this magical little boy um, who passed away at age five after being diagnosed with DIPG. Um, Oscar's parents, like all parents whose children are diagnosed with DIPG, are told the same thing. There is nothing we could do to save your child's life, so go make some memories.
And there are brilliant neuro-oncologists who are doing amazing work um, coming up with groundbreaking new treatments and cures for DIPG. Um, and that's what Oscar's Kit is trying to do. We're partnering with these researchers who are on the verge of these breakthroughs um, so that parents will be given hope and um, not a death sentence when their child gets his diagnosis. So thank you so much for recognizing the work we're doing. And thank you, Creative Coalition, for all you do. It's such an honor to be here. I got involved with United Cerebral Palsy because my nephew Michael was born with cerebral palsy. I didn't know anything about cerebral palsy. Um, and I just cold called UCP because my family was in pain. We didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. We didn't know how to help him. I would never, I mean, maybe I'd heard of cerebral palsy, but I didn't know anything about it. So when I called UCP, they said, come in, sit down, we're gonna share your pain. Thank you to the Creative Coalition for, you know, celebrating everybody's um, work today. I really appreciate it. And thank you to United Cerebral Palsy. They're an unbelievable um, organization. If you wanna get involved, talk to me. Um, and I really do thank um, the Creative Coalition for the work that they do with the arts because like you were saying, Tim, I mean, the arts inspire kids to learn. And especially kids that have a disability or any type of ability, um, it's individual for each kid. And sometimes it takes a painting or um, a piece of chalk to inspire them. So without the creative arts, how are we teaching some of these kids? It's our way of celebrating those who have used their platform for good. And the good in particular is obesity awareness because we know that obesity is a disease. It's not something that you do to yourself. It's a disease like diabetes or anything else that, you, that happens to befall you. And so this award celebrates those who use their writing skills, their acting skills, their producing skills, their creative skills to make sure that everyone understands that. Shout out to Noble Nordisk, they get it. Thank you so much to the Creative Coalition, to Robin Bronk, to Tim Daly. Thank you very much uh, for this honor and for making obesity awareness and the destigmatization of obesity such an important focus of your work. I've been involved with the Creative Coalition for almost a decade now. Um, I've had the absolute honor and privilege of getting to know the organization's impressive family of members. Artists, activists, innovators, humanitarians, real movers and shakers, honest to God, goddamn doers. I am a woman, I am an artist, and I know Where my voice belongs. So I created Diva, divinely inspired, victoriously aware, alive, awesome. And since it's Sunday, we dared to be audacious, anointed, hallelujah. And 33 years later, which I can hardly believe because I'm only 33 myself. <laughs> Thank you. We continue to simply dare to care, to use my platform and my voice because I know where it belongs to say that all people are deserving of love. All people are deserving of care. All people are deserving of us sharing our humanity with others instead of figuring out, well, I don't like people because of that. And I don't like those people because of that.
I'm thrilled to be here to help the Creative Coalition honor somebody that I know and truly admire, Jamie Cromwell, for all the wonderful work he does with PETA. Now, did success spoil Jamie Cromwell? No, no, it just turned up the dial on the man he already was because he was an activist way before he got famous. In the 60s, it was civil rights. It was protesting the Vietnam War before it was fashionable to do so. It was standing up for some wrongly incarcerated Black Panthers, okay? He walked the walk. He gets arrested all the time, <laughs> right? Now, his devotion to animals goes back at least until the 1970s when he had a horrible experience at a stockyard in Texas, and he became a vegetarian right there, right then and there. And then some years later, later after his uh, uh, experience in Babe, he became a vegan, right? Uh, now, it's understandable why Peter or any organization would want to have Jamie Cromwell as one of their foot soldiers because he suits up, he shows up, he does what he says he's going to do, and he fights for what he believes in. First of all, thank you to the Creative Coalition to, uh, for the, the award. Um, I'm deeply honored. Uh, I, uh, I guess my notoriety is that I'm uh, one of the people who doesn't mind getting arrested as often as I do. Um, but I've noticed now with the confluence, uh, the, the conjunction of all the issues that we face sort of coalescing, that we're all connected. There's no one, there's not just animal rights as opposed to the environment. There's no environment without racial justice. There's no racial justice without the carceral system. Uh, we've got a lot of issues in front of us and the biggest one of all, of course, is what we're doing to our planet. Now the chicken is coming home to roost because the planet is saying to us, the system, the way you have tried to handle your problem since the very beginning is not working. So we have to find another way, another paradigm. We have to shift. It is really grim. But it's going to be a lot more grim for all of us if we don't get a handle on global warming. And that is up to us. So I support you in all your activities, all the work you do. Keep in the back of your mind. I can make a difference. My voice does count. Standing up for abortion rights is not a women's issue, it's a human issue, and it affects us all. Not only was Paul a leader in his advocacy, but Paul is donating his awards today to the National Network of Abortion Funds, which aims to increase access for abortion to low-income people across the country, who this will affect the most. Women are under attack. Their ability to make decisions about their own body is being taken away and we can't let that happen. This is why I am supporting the National Network of Abortion Funds. They are building an active grassroots base to remove any financial and logistical barriers to abortion access. They have made it their mission to inform and implement cultural and political change and give people the power and the resources to care for their bodies. The Creative Coalition honors a man who has devoted his time and his energy to support the Legal Defense Fund. Now, for those who don't know about the Legal Defense Fund, it is an organization, a civil rights organization, using the power of law to achieve racial justice in America, driven by their devotion to preserving the citizenship, dignity, and overall humanity of black people in America. Black people are under duress in America every single day. And what they need is support. I wanted to make sure that I put my money where my mouth is. And I wanted to support and tell my friends that's what you can do as well. That's something you can actively do. And just like, you know, the Creative Coalition said today, and I thank you so much, Creative Coalition, for this. How you just said, give anything. You know, you, you know, used to hear like, oh, give $100, give $200. No, no, no. You can give anything. If you can only give a dollar, that matters. That truly matters. So what, like everyone's saying here, just get involved. Do something. You know, it's not just about you. It's about all of us.